and up and Thank down. You. Yeah. Hello, Hi. welcome Hi, to the afternoon broadcast one to three coming from Bologna. Ta -da. Ta -da. I was I was on this channel for the last lesson. So hello to anyone oh, really? who was Fantastic. here. Marcello, maybe? Um, oh. It's very bright on my face, this sun. <laughs> okay. I How did um, your last lesson go? It was nice. We were talking about the supermarket. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. Who um, was that with? With Joanna. Joanna. Oh, Joanna's mm. amazing. Yeah. She's yeah. a lot of fun as well. Yeah, How, yeah, yeah. Um, we don't know a lot of South Africans generally no. in, um, in our lives. So no. to have a South African colleague is fantastic. I agree. I agree. Special. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we were talking about the supermarket and town, things in town. But at the mm. moment, obviously, the supermarket is very important. Yes. Uh, so we were talking about that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And do you like going to the supermarket now? Yeah, because it's a uh, it's, it's freedom. An adventure. It's freedom, exactly. <laughs> I love my supermarket now more than ever before. Um, so, yeah, I get excited once a week, once every uh, eight, nine days, go to the supermarket. Nice. Did you uh, have to queue? Yes. Yeah, um, about usually about forty-five minutes. The two times, yeah. You? Oof. Yeah, I had to queue as well. Some something like that, forty-ish yeah. yeah, minutes. And yeah. um, we we did a lap of the <laughs> of the internal structure essentially. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, one in, one out at the supermarket. Wow. Oh God. How exciting! <laughs> I I managed to um. FaceTime video call, uh -huh. my mum. So I talked to my mum, I think, for 20 minutes-ish. Nice. In the queue, yeah. Yeah, in the queue. I, I, I listened to a podcast. Oh, nice. I, I was happy, yeah. What yeah. podcasts do you like? Oh, poor. Uh, at that time in the queue, I was listening to a podcast called Talking Politics, oh. which is... Um, a podcast about politics mm -hmm. <laughs> and they talk about politics and it's pe um, professors at um, Cambridge mm -hmm. University. Wow. About politics. Wow. That's, um, that must be a very interesting podcast. Yeah, it's really good. They're very I, qualified. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what they're talking and about. Is that world politics or mm -hmm. specific? It's a mixture. It has it has more of a focus on UK politics because sure. they're in Cambridge, but they do also talk about world politics. In fact, oh. one this week, they interviewed um, an academic who's in um, Veneto in Italy uh -huh. yeah. um, about Italian politics and things. Oh, yeah. wow. So both. That's you fascinating. Listen, you listen to podcasts. I did listen to podcasts for a period. I. Yeah. Oh, what was it called? The um, something almanac. I can't remember. It was a really weird one where they went into depth on. So they took three things mm -hmm. and they rated them on a scale. It was basically an imaginary scale of how good it is to to humanity, essentially. So they oh. would take, let's say, for example, a brand like McDonald's. Oh. Okay. And they would analyze everything about it, so the history a little, uh -huh. to see what the impact is on hum humankind, et cetera. But and then they, they would give it a scale. It? And then they're, they're not comparing it, it. Okay. they just give it a scale, like okay. a very loose scale. Okay. Um, so they would take anything and everything. So it could be something very specific that or you like, don't know about or okay. something very general. Okay, cool. It was, yeah. That was a cool one. Um, I, like I listen to audio books now. Ah, okay. But I don't usually listen to them. At the moment, I don't listen to many because I like to listen to them when I'm walking or out yeah, exactly. doing something else. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, whereas at the moment, uh, yeah. I usually 
listen to a book when I'm cycling to work. Right, right. That's and awesome. yeah. yeah, I'm not cycling anywhere, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. unfortunately. Okay, so if you do not know who we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. my I name think. is Alex. I come from England in the southwest of England. Oh. Very small town, village, basically called Kings Kurzweil. Cool. Very strange place. And how about you? My name is Hal. Hello. I am from England as well. I am from the southeast of England near London. And I live in Bologna. Yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> we all live in Bologna. Yeah. Beautiful place, but very cold today. Today, yes. I turned the heating off here a few days ago. Exactly. And then today I put it back on. Yeah. It's cold and gray. It's, it's cold. Yeah. I'm freezing. I'm freezing here. I've got, <laughs> I've got the um, air conditioning going at the moment. So it should heat me up. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, no, yeah. not the cold, cold air conditioning, okay. Okay. <laughs> like a masochist or something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to freeze. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you join, please um, say hello. Maybe your name and where you are from. Yeah. That would be great. So today we are talking about holidays. Yeah. Excellent holidays. It's time for a holiday. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Where do you want to go when everything is finished? Um, I want to go to Uganda. Yeah, that would be Maybe. amazing. I, yeah, because I have a friend there who I want to visit. Fantastic. And also I have flights, which I booked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, are you currently talking to the airline or are you no, not yet? Yeah, so I, I think I will have to, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would Thank like you. to yeah. go to Japan uh -huh. for my brother's wedding, which he has oh. now postponed to July. Wow. It was meant to be at the beginning of April, oh. but, <laughs> but that's not going ahead. Fingers and crossed. I, yeah, exactly. Fingers crossed. Also because I got a wonderful um, suit and everything. Oh, so you're ready. You're ready. For yeah, it. I'm so ready. I'm so, we, we picked up the suit uh -huh. the weekend before everything closed. Out. Wow. The last thing you did was get that. Yeah, suit ready. exactly. Yeah. So I'm talking to the to the air company now. Okay, to hopefully get some kind of voucher. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so fingers crossed, please. Um, not pray I'm not a religious man but either way um please please send all your best wishes for Uganda and Japan yeah we want to go on holiday exactly boy oh boy sooner or later please yeah, yeah yeah sooner or later oh man is this is this real someone yeah. it looks photoshopped uh, he's but the car I don't think it's moving I think he's the car has stopped the sure. guy looks oh, as guy tall looks as the huge. car. Yeah, it's not real. It's not real. He's it can't enormous. be real. Yeah, yeah. It's fake. He's enormous. Yeah. Um, how can you read the um, objectives? I sure can. So we have types of holiday, holiday activities using can and like, and describing a holiday. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look then. So we have some types of holiday. We have a mountain holiday. Careful with the pronunciation. We don't want to open the vowel sounds. They need to be closed. So mountain, turn, not tain, but turn, mountain holiday. Mm -hmm. How? Camping holiday, camping Great. holiday. Nice. Skiing holiday. So not skying. <laughs> that would be like maybe skydiving. Yeah, <laughs> the sky. sky is above us, right? That's the sky. So ski, ski, skiing holiday. Beach holiday. 
beach holiday. Mm -hmm. Careful with that one. You need to elongate this one. So E, E, beach. Good. Okay. And a city break. Mm -hmm. Careful with the pronunciation of break. A lot of students say break or they shorten it. It's a longer E. So break, not A. E, sorry, A, 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 break, break. Nice. nice. City break. So if anyone is here, we've currently got three people viewing. Hello, three people. <laughs> Hello, whoever you may be. Please match up the types of holiday to the pictures. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one from this list, Hal? Beach, 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 beach. Oh, really? Holiday. Yeah, oh my goodness. I love <laughs> like a cheap, simple <laughs> holiday, just on a beach. You don't need mm -hmm. to do anything. You just take some books and you sit on the beach for a week and you go swimming. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah, maybe also city break, but, uh -huh. but most of all beach holiday. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. How about, how about you? Um, out of all of these, I would probably either enjoy a skiing holiday or a mountain holiday. Oh, cool. I, when I was young, so my yeah. grandparents live on Tenerife. Okay, cool. And we visited them every Easter, every oh, single wow. Easter. Wow. So I've been on too many beach holidays okay, <laughs> I think yeah. when I was young. You are um, sick of it. Tired yeah, of it. I'm, yeah. yeah, let's write that. So sick of something is no tired. Stop. Stop, I can't. Yeah, tired of something. I can't anymore. Um, we used to go, so my grandparents have a very relaxing life. Uh -huh. They wake up in the morning, they walk down to the beach, they stay on the beach for until lunchtime, they come back for lunch, they go to sleep uh -huh. after lunch for two, three hours. They wake up, they walk, do things, um, nothing really, <laughs> and then, they walk, go out for a walk in the evening along the seaside, and then they come back. That and sounds that's their day. So good. That sounds <laughs> so good. What a oh, we have. Day. Hey, Marcello. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, Marcello. Where are you from? Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you again. I saw yes. Marcello earlier. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you know where he's from, Hal? I think it was Sicily, but now he works in Milan. Marcello, is that right? Oh, and nice. you live, you don't live in Milan, you live somewhere near Milan. Marcello, I've forgotten, I'm sorry. But I think <laughs> from Sicily originally. Okay, nice. Um, so Marcello, can you match the types of holiday to the pictures? Ah, Legnano. Ah, Legnano, yeah. Where is Legnano? Let's have a look. I guess near Milan. Yeah, it is near Milan. Ah, it's, ah, it's here, it's here. So it's to the northwest of Milan. Cool. Nice, but I came from Sicily. Good job, Marcello. That's a good past. Yeah, fantastic. Way good prepositions. Good job. Perfect. Um, so, let's get the ball rolling so we can say A, is skiing exactly a skiing holiday if you're at home repeat the pronunciation so skiing holiday great um fantastic marcello good good interaction yeah. good 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 how about b what is b it looks very idyllic there as well yeah, beautiful. is he going to go fishing or something I think so. He's got a, a. He's just stopped his car. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Big oh. lake. That's a lake there. I really love lakes as well. I think. Especially in the mountains. Student, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, Marcello. Good job. Mountain holiday. What about sea? Way. Here we go. City break. Lovely. Very good. Very good. That? Can you recognize that city? I can't. I have no idea. 
sometimes you can do like a reverse Google image search. Let's have a look. Oh. If it comes Hong Kong. Oh, wow. In theory. Yes, yeah. Hong Kong. Cool. Um, good job. Hello, yes, exactly. Very good, Marcello. Which means and finally, me. Hal's favorite. My favorite. Yeah. Very good, Marcello. Fantastic. Ten Ooh. points to Marcello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we were talking about this before. Mm -hmm. I think Hal likes beach holidays. I and do. I like um, either mountain or skiing holidays. How mm. about you, Marcello? What is your favorite type of holiday and why? Shall we speculate what his favorite type is? Yeah, well, maybe I suppose camping, if you like being outdoors, if you like mm -hmm. exercise, if you like nature, then camping is yeah. your favorite type of holiday. I hate all of those things. So, <laughs> so camping is not my favorite type of holiday. But, <laughs> Um, yeah, if you like those things, then camping is for you, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> I went camping when I was um, at secondary school, mm -hmm. and we woke up one morning to um, just a gentle thudding against the tent, mm -hmm. and we repeated thudding oh. like that, just very soft, very gentle. We yeah. said, what's happening? And the cows were licking the, the dew off of the tent. Right, in the morning. Yeah, wow. the moisture. Wow, cows, cows can be dangerous though, you know. They can, because if they, yeah. if they fell onto us, yeah, 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 yeah. they would have um, had a pancake situation. Right. Marcello, cool, yeah. Why? What is it about a beach holiday? Because yeah. I like beach holidays too. I think they are relaxing. They are relaxing. Yeah, they're very relaxing. I didn't, the one thing I don't like about beach holidays uh -huh. is as soon as you get wet, the sand sticks to you. Oh, I don't care about that. But yeah, if that's a problem. <laughs> I, I have a friend who's incredibly um, scared of sand, like a phobia. Scared? Uh -huh. Oh, really? Oh, so wow. For her, that is, um, that's it. She can't really do beaches, but um, <laughs> I don't mind that so much. Yeah, swimming, exactly. I exactly. can swim, I can swim, good. Careful with the spelling, we just want an M, not an N. Right. Very good, Marcello, though. When I am, and maybe not in the beach, at the beach. At the beach, or on, at or on. Or on the beach, yeah. Right, you are. Um, in for us would be like physically inside the beach. Yeah. So maybe you, know, <laughs> you can dig a hole. And you're in the beach. You go in the sea though. So in the sea, yeah. but you're on the beach or at the beach. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. That's perfect. Okay. So mm. we've got all of these activities. I'm going to read the first four. Okay, perfect. Skiing, sightseeing, surfing, and camping. Trekking, horse riding, water skiing, and sunbathing. Hmm. Do you like um, water skiing? It's quite extreme. I I don't know because or surfing. I've not done it. I've not. Um, I've done surfing once. I was uh -huh. very bad. It was, it was fun. Um, I've never surfed. No, no, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> um, but what do I like? Also, I mean, horse riding. I don't like horses. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not my cup of exactly. So. What did I say? Surfing is not my cup of tea. I don't exactly. Really it's not me. It's not <laughs> me. 
Um, you like you, you, you ski? Do you ski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ski. Okay. Um, I've skied a, a few different places now. But yeah, I really like skiing. I'm a little bit, um, not reckless, but I, I quite enjoy going fast. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, nice, Marcello. Great job. So we have A is water skiing. A is water skiing. I had to stop skiing because uh, I have a um, weak knee on my right. My right knee is. I have a weak right knee. <laughs> I do. I have a my kneecap. I have a exactly. Knee. Yeah. The ligaments. Um, and well, the um, what do you call it? The patella. Tendons. No, it's the actual kneecap on mine. Oh really? Yeah, sometimes it dislocates. It's exactly. To me, me too. Time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've lost count of how many times. It's oh wow! Okay. I've been very stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got it from go. hockey. I got it from rugby. <laughs> there we go. Don't play sports. Yeah, that's sports that's the takeaway. Marcello, good job, Marcello. Sightseeing. Those people very look good. very happy to be seeing some sights. Yeah. In the book. Uh, what about C? You've got yeah. some people on the snow, in the mountains. Yeah. They're having a good time, I think. I'm glad you said that because I don't, I've never done skiing. Uh -huh. and I've always thought, oh, I sh and I don't really want to, but my excuse has always been, I have this knee. No, no. I don't think it would be good for my knee. No. I'm sure it isn't, yeah. It's terrible. It's really, yeah. really bad. Like I'm, I'm curious about snowboarding because at least then you have, both of them supporting. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But yeah, mm, skiing is knee yeah. braces all the way. <laughs> exactly. Skiing. Fantastic, Marcello. Skiing and camping. Mm -hmm. Very good. What is that, Alex? In D, that's a picture of a. That should be a camper van. Exactly, a camper van. Or a, I think in America they say motorhome, don't they? Yeah, they do. You're right. Motorhome or camper? Because van. motorhomes are gigantic as well. Yeah, 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 like a whole kitchen situation. Yeah, yeah. He is trekking. Yes. Very good. What about F? He looks like, like a professional. Like, he looks like he knows what he's doing and he's the boss. <laughs> uh, I've never, never ever served. And it's strange because my county is is good is like yeah. a good surfing yeah, location. Yeah. Absolutely, which in the UK is quite special. Not yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not there are, there was a group of friends. So at secondary school, there are different kind of clubs, different mm. cl cliques, and there was the surfers as well who would wake yeah. up. Oh, wow! In early, early in the morning. Yeah. Wow, that's very American. That makes me think of um i don't know california yeah but it's freezing <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> no, no. that was nice mm, i think i imagine your ideal holiday is g yeah although not too much i don't go crazy but yeah g and then a nice umbrella yeah exactly book. and ideally your hotel or your room is you know like maximum 20 minute walk from the beach nice and there's a nice bar on the way back to stop on. right oh, stop. i can't i can't <laughs> especially on this cold day i know it feels very far away but it's not it's not it'll come <laughs> it'll come yeah today is gray yeah today is very gray so f should be surfing mm -hmm. right g should be sunbathing mm -hmm. again careful with the pronunciation so usually if we are talking about the room in our house it's bath room or like bath as well <laughs> bathroom yes, yes, bath. bathroom bathroom um your choice um but when we have it as the verb like this it's to bathe so sunbathe sunbathing 
a not a bath r okay and h horse riding riding yeah very cool so do you like mm -hmm. example do you like skiing yes i do no i don't exactly um how is this an open question or a closed question it's a closed question we're asking exactly. yes you like it or no you don't like it um, exactly although when we answer a question like this we can also be more creative right we could say mm -hmm. yes i love skiing Very or good. No, no i hate skiing <laughs> um <laughs> in my case exactly uh, yeah it's a closed question it's yes or no so do you like skiing let's have that as the as the question at the moment do you like skiing um maybe i'll put that in the banner actually do you like skiing so how do you like camping um no i don't <laughs> no i don't um, you hate camping i hate camping because <laughs> it's a mess it's a mess I mean, it's not tidy, it's not orderly, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> do, you, do you like camping? Um, yes, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Hmm. Ah. Marcello has a question. Hmm. Would you like skiing? Maybe we could say, would you like to go skiing? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, possible. Yeah. Would you like skiing is a possible question, but it's a hypothetical. Like, if you tried skiing, would you like skiing? Right. But would you like to go skiing is like, do you want to do it now? Do you want to ski now? Good question. Um, how do you like sightseeing? Yes, I do. I really like sightseeing. Nice. Um, I like exploring a new city. I like exploring a new city. How new about you? as well. Yeah, yes, yeah. I, I love sightseeing. I love um, seeing all of the local people and what yeah. they do as well. Yeah. Mm. Do you like trekking? Um, or I, hiking? I'm gonna say I don't mind trekking, which means oh, guys nice. like 50-50, mm, I don't mind. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes not. I don't mind in the middle. Yeah, it's uh, okay. It's okay, I don't mind trekking. Um, yeah, and also it depends on how difficult the trek is. Um, <laughs> yeah, there it is. I almost died in the Dolomites um, <laughs> in December. So it Oof. depends. Yeah, it really, you, really depends. Do you like trekking? Uh, the same as you, Hal. Um, it, I don't mind it, but I would prefer not to. Going uphill, uphill. Mm is no problem but going downhill with the knee is, is yeah terrible. <laughs> exactly especially if it's steep yes yes it's it's just an accident waiting to happen right okay hello yeah no i, I don't, don't like, like it. Checking. fantastic careful with the spelling we're going to need an e not an a trekking trekking nice good nice. job marcello Thank you for your input. <laughs> okay. And now we have some can you questions. Mm -hmm. For really? example, yeah, uh, please. Can you ski? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Exactly. So can you ski, Hal? No, I can't. 
Fantastic. No, I can't. I've never tried, so I can't. Can you ski? Yes, I can. I can I ski, can. even yeah. backwards. Whoa, really? Yeah, yeah. Backwards. I, yeah, I, I, I really loved skiing. It's just one, expensive, and two, yeah. my knee. Yeah, it's just Backward skiing. That sounds terrifying. Really, really scary. Like, we had, yeah, do exactly. You, do you have to be on a clear slope? There can't no. be. No, no, it can be like that. We <laughs> we had a a little a crazy Austrian skiing instructor. <laughs> okay. Who um he was very like extremely proficient. Okay. He said, um, okay, guys, we are going to um, take the boots and unlatch them so that they're loose, so that they're not stable. And we said, okay, okay, center of gravity, whatnot, all of this, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to go skiing now. And we said, okay, no problems. It was a bit sketchy. Yeah. It was a bit risky. But okay. um, we we got down the down the mountain. We went back up the mountain, and he said, "Good. Um, how was that?" We all said, "Yeah, you know, a bit difficult, but not too said, bad." And then he backwards. said, "Okay, same thing, but backwards." What? <laughs> and we oh said, goodness. "Are you crazy?" Oof that that was that was difficult. That was you did it. You did it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. But damn. <laughs> That was difficult. Don't Sorry. try this at home, guys. No. <laughs> Don't try this at home. No. No, he, he I think he was crazy. But <laughs> very, very, very good instructor. So can is mm. the ability to do something. For example, we've we've had an example, but we can also ask about another person, so third person. For example, can your brother, sister, best friend surf? You can choose the, the person now. Okay. Can, you, you have a brother, right? Yeah. Can I do your, have a brother. Can your brother take good photos? Uh, yeah, he, he can. Yes, he can. So okay. it's not I can, but he can. Right. Good. Um, nice. Do you have a sister? Yes, well remembered, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's not <laughs> easy. Can your sister scuba dive? She absolutely can't. Sorry. <laughs> I, think, I think maybe she did once in oh. Bali. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm, making, I'm imagining this, guys. I'm imagining. No, maybe. she can't. No, she can't. She can't. <laughs> um she can't scuba dive exactly marcello can your sister surf yes she can that's okay. a fantastic question that's a really good one very very good um how can your best friend or one of your best friends mm -hmm. um not yeah surf why not uh yeah i have a friend <laughs> um yeah i have a friend who can su surf because she fell in love with a surf instructor. <laughs> so she, she learned a lot about surfing. I think um, she learned more than that. Yeah, that's true, exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she, she can surf. She can surf. Fantastic. Fantastic. Can, okay. Oh, one more? No, no, please, one more, yeah. Okay. Can your best friend or can a friend, you know, um, mm -hmm. water ski? Water ski. I'm sure one of my secondary school friends can water ski. Okay. Yes. Yes, he can. Yes. I imagine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I remember mm -hmm. some photos long time ago. <laughs> okay. So we're doing a little, I think this is almost like one of those um online quizzes right personality test exactly yeah. so let's see can you read um just the title yes 
I'm getting a pencil so I can write my answers. Uh, <laughs> a, a questionnaire, choose the right type of holiday for you. Exactly. So number one, you need to write the letter that is correct for you. So mm -hmm. do you like A, sunbathing, B, skiing, or C, visiting places? Oh, that's difficult, actually, because I like both yeah, skiing and visiting places. Let's go for skiing. OK. OK. Number two, how? I'm bathing. Number two, um, can you A, water ski, B, ski, or C, take good photos? This is difficult for me because none of none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Choose the one that you're closest to. Take good photos, but no. Okay. <laughs> Three, do you like A, hot weather, B, snow, or C, cold weather? Ugh. I like mild weather. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Um, let's go for snow. Hot, hot, hot. hot. Do you like, number four, do you like relaxing, playing sports, or learning? Mm, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one too. So you want to total it up. I'm going to put mine in the, in the comments. Okay. Mine oh. are B, C, B, A. Surprise, surprise. Skiing. Mostly bees, a skiing holiday. There we go. How about and you, I, Hal? I got A C A C. So ideally, a city, <laughs> a city with a beach. Wow. Like go to Barcelona. Yes. Or um, gosh, I don't know. San Francisco, or like San somewhere Francisco, in California. California. Maybe not. Maybe San Francisco, maybe Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. San Diego. Nice. And then a beach. That would be great. Nice. Very cool. How about you, Marcello? What did you get? What did you get? I do yes. really like a city break as well. Yeah, me too. Also, maybe we can explain. Usually a city break, right? Usually is quite short, right? You go yeah, to a city exactly. for three days, maybe a weekend. When's the last time you went on a city break? Um goodness it was actually to bologna in <laughs> in yeah in june last year before i moved yeah i came for four days for like some interviews and um nice. to, uh, have a look around yeah nice and you um i'm trying to think i think the last time i went on a city break i went to um, oh, Cesenatico, which is on the coast. On the age, which coast? Which side? Adriatic. Adriatic. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Just um, just south of Cesena. Okay. Nice. Fantastic, Marcello. Okay, beach holiday. Yeah. <laughs> do you agree, Marcello? Yeah. That what do you think? Holiday. I feel like a beach holiday is like the original vanilla holiday, you know? Sure. When, sure. when I think of a holiday, I think of a beach and Definitely. sea and ice cream. Yeah. I wonder if it changes for, no, because here in Italy, it's, um, there are more beaches or the weather is better. Yeah. But lots of Italians go to the beach anyway. Right, exactly, yeah. Yes, so a beach holiday, fantastic. So Marcello agrees, he's happy. <laughs> very good, very good. How can you read? Yes, describe a holiday. I go on holiday in summer, I like hot weather, I go with my family, I stay in a hotel, I like sunbathing, I can surf, I can't, su I can't scuba dive. Fantastic. <laughs> So I think maybe we can write 
our version. Mm -hmm. So let's have that as a banner. Write your um, holiday. Write about your holiday. About your holiday. I love that picture. Look at that palm tree. Looks amazing. Yeah. We get palm trees down in in Devon. What? Yeah. Mental? Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. There are lots of palm trees. There was um, <laughs> the the mayor of Torquay spent uh -huh. too much money on a big palm tree <laughs> for what? a roundabout. Oh, okay. Like a because it looked impressive. He thought it looked fun. He and... said he wanted the um, Rivi so the English Riviera to be like the Côte d'Azur, but <laughs> it's <laughs> just means, not the same. Which means just putting a palm tree on a exactly. roundabout. <laughs> the thing is, we imported it from the Canary Islands, so mm -hmm. it cost a lot of money. It was a very big palm tree. And as soon as it arrived, they wrapped it in bin liner to keep it warm. Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> disaster. It's a disaster. Yeah, it's stupid. He didn't win the next next election. I, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to write some um, one, or maybe I can write house. Either way. Yeah. So I go on holiday in the Easter. Is a nice one. Um, so in this period, at the Big, yeah, end of March, beginning of April, right? Right, right, around now. We have yeah. Easter, <laughs> Easter holidays. So I usually go on holiday in the Easter. Mm -hmm. I like warm weather, not hot. It's too, too much. <laughs> I go with my partner. I stay in... Um, in a flat, some kind of Airbnb thing. I like sightseeing. I can, what can I do? I can visit the monuments and I can't. The problem is this can is more like that I'm, able to yeah yeah so let me just put one like i can what can i do on a I warm can. thank you hal i can take photos <laughs> i can't um surf there we go hmm. nice <clears throat> so that's a possible one marcello how about you Tell us about your holiday. Describe your holiday. How? Yes. What maybe. about you? Okay. Oh, shall I go? And then Mar Marcello's one is here now as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, All you right. can read that one, Hal. Yeah, okay. I go on, thank you, Marcello. I go on holiday in summer. I love hot weather. I go with my wife. I stay in my home in Sicily. I like swim. I can playing sport, but I can't water skiing. Good, perfect, okay. <laughs> nice. Just be careful, Marcello. After some of these verbs, we need to be careful. So I like, mm -hmm. I like swimming, I and exactly. And I then like after, swimming. I like swimming. And then after can or can't, then we want to use just the infinitive. So I can play sport and I can't walk ski. Exactly. So, so the other way around, swap them. I like, exactly. I, enjoy, I can, infinitive. So can is always followed with the bare infinitive, bare infinitive which right. is the infinitive with no to. Okay. Fantastic. Let's hear it. Good job, Marcello, though. Yeah, very, you. very good. So you love hot weather and you go with your wife. Fantastic. Yes, exactly, Marcello. So 
After can, no ing. Very good. Very good. Okay, Hal, let's have it. Um, okay. I. Beach holidays, this is what usually I do. Okay. I go on holiday in the <laughs> autumn. Um, I like warm weather. I go with friends or by myself sometimes. I stay in a flat. Um, I like sightseeing. Um, I can imagine living in a city. Okay. And That's I can't, nice. I can't um, ski. <laughs> I'm in a city. Fantastic. <laughs> no, that's a bit difficult. Very good. Yeah. Very nice. You, for some reason, usually I always go on holiday in October, November. Now that I think about it, in the last few years, I've gone on holiday then. I don't know yeah. why. Well, in the summer, we have what is called peak season mm. or peak holiday season, right. if you right. like. Um, which is a very busy time for tourists. Mm -hmm. um, so there are lots of people walking around, buying, pushing. There's no room on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you might want to go on the off season. Right. Yeah. So more relaxed. Over is nice. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so also, so peak holiday season is very expensive. Mm. Um, the hotels are fully booked. Mm -hmm. There are no rooms, so everything is expensive. Mm -hmm. In the off season, it's cheaper. There's more variety. It's, right. it's just generally better <laughs> if you have the option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, if you have children, it's, it's a bit complicated. You have no choices. <laughs> okay. Do we have just about enough time? So yeah, this is the one that we did, which is great. And we can, yeah, let's let's do this one. Just to finish. Okay. So we're going to ask and answer questions about these famous people. Okay. In so the I think third person, right? As in where does Yes. Okay. Okay. Should we start with Angela? Angela Merkel? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, where does Angela Merkel go on holiday? She goes to the Austrian Alps. Fantastic. Um, who does she go with? She goes with her best friend. <laughs> And what can she do? She can go trekking. <laughs> uh, I can imagine Angela Merkel doing that. Trekking, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, know, um, she's a strong, strong person. Yeah. Okay. Ask away. Um, where does the queen go on holiday? She goes to Scotland. Who does the Queen go on holiday with? She goes on holiday with her husband and dogs, <laughs> the corgis. Yeah, famously. And <laughs> what does the Queen do on holiday? The Queen relaxes on holiday. Nice. Yeah. I can imagine. Can Who is the that? third person? Third That's Matt Damon. Oh, good okay. eye. Yeah. So uh, what do, where does Matt Damon go? <laughs> Matt Damon goes to Miami. Who does he go to Miami with? He goes with his wife. <laughs> and what does um, Matt Damon do on holiday? He can sunbathe. He sunbathes. Nice. Fantastic. 
we need to take inspiration from which one is the closest to you? Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Um, and you? Maybe. Um, you know, I don't know. Out of these, maybe Angela Merkel, maybe. Yeah, trekking in the Alps. Wow. Yeah, that could be nice. Relaxing, not taking it too seriously. Oh, good, Marcello. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He goes to Miami. Fantastic. Thank you. Very yeah. good. So that's all the time we have in this, this one. Mm -hmm. If you come back in 10 minutes, there will be another one to three level. I'm going to go to, I think, 10 to 13 now. Have you I'm, finished? I'm going to go to my balcony. <laughs> Enjoy your balcony, Hal. <laughs> Thank you. Um, have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you, Marcello, again. Thank you. Thank Bye. You, Bye -bye. Great job.